Good evening. Uh, my thesis addresses philosophical questions about psychedelic drugs. After years of neglect, psychedelics are once more being studied as psychiatric treatments. This is interesting because psychedelic subjects often feel they gain knowledge from their drug experiences. Are they correct? In my thesis, I argue that they are. LSD and other psychedelic drugs were studied and used in the mid-20th century as treatments for various psychiatric conditions. This research stopped for decades, but has now resumed. It's been found that psychedelics may alleviate symptoms of depression, addiction, obsessive compulsive disorder, and anxiety. It's also been found that psychedelics can cause positive personality change in healthy subjects. Psychedelics are unlike other psychiatric treatments because they work with just one dose and involve an altered state of consciousness. Philosophical issues arise because subjects often feel they gain knowledge from their drug experiences. Are they right? One possible response is to just say no. Subjects could be mistaken about acquiring knowledge. This is tempting because psychedelics disrupt the normal workings of the brain. Philosophy of mind sees the brain as a mechanism with the job of representing the world. From this perspective, one might reason that psychedelics disrupt this mechanism and so feelings of knowledge gain are illusory. This is particularly tempting because philosophers have long been skeptical about gaining knowledge from altered states of consciousness. But I think this would be too hasty. Before we can answer the question of psychedelic knowledge acquisition, we need to examine in detail the results from psychedelic science. Integrating results from neuroscience with psychological data and first-person reports is an increasingly popular approach in philosophy of mind and psychiatry. I argue this is the right approach to the question of psychedelic knowledge acquisition, and then I apply this approach. My conclusion is that subjects are sometimes correct in thinking they gain knowledge. Recent neuroimaging work shows the brain on psychedelics is more flexible and unconstrained than usual. This supports the idea that subjects learn things about the potential of their own minds. They gain direct knowledge of ways it is possible for their minds to be. This sits well with the fact that many Western teachers of Buddhist meditation were originally inspired by experiences with psychedelics. There are issues about how this knowledge gain relates to the therapeutic effects, but exploring these issues will be helpful for debates about the role of psychedelics both within and beyond psychiatry. Some have even proposed an educational role for psychedelics, and the question of knowledge acquisition is highly relevant to this. My thesis will provide a well-supported answer to this important question. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher, and apologies again. No worries. Uh, Rob, you have a question? I'm sorely tempted to ask a question about auto-experimentation here, but <laughs> perhaps if you can enlighten us as, as to the uh, inspiration for your interest and whether or not it's purely philosophical. Mm. Well, my project is purely philosophical, and so I'm going to restrict my answer to your question to my research topic. Um, basically, as I said in my talk, um, research into the therapeutic potential of psychedelics has been slowly but steadily resuming, actually since the early 90s, and some of the results are incredibly impressive. Um, the fact that psychedelics seem to offer relief from these debilitating psychiatric conditions with just a single eight-hour session is just enough to inspire a pretty intense interest on its own. But philosophically, the fact that there are multiple ways of describing or multiple levels of explanation at play here is what's really interesting. So psychedelics are these um, very micro-level chemical substances that act at neurotransmitter receptor sites in the brain. And then subjects experience this altered state of consciousness and come away feeling as though they've learned something. And trying to determine the relationship between what's going on at different levels of description is probably actually the, uh, the philosophically most interesting aspect of all this. Thank you.